Namaste, hello, this is Anita and it is my pleasure to invite you to a little trip with me going slow home, drinking a cup of coffee outside. I just got it in my friend's house. I'm walking home very early today because I want to like see some of the pee out a little bit, not just sit inside like I always do. So go for a walk, see some nature, maybe chat to you guys. You know, I'm filming with my phone, so that's kind of new to me. And I'm losing my pants, they're falling down as I walk because they're way, way too big. And it's like leggings, really uh, cool leggings, but they're way too big in the belly and the ass. So I have to sew them tonight, like make them tinier so I don't lose them. And I think it's amazing. I bought them on Wish and I bought them in uh, double large, two time XX large. And uh, well, they're like four XXL. XXXXL must be like that. Anyway, um, so um, yeah, cheers. It's cool that clothes are not too small from Wish, eBay and AliExpress and stuff like this. It's cool when they like, fit oh, is too big because Chinese are very small people. So normally I get a triple X size, uh, but with my pants, I've been lucky. They're too big or they fit so, and these happens to be too thick. Too big. Oh my god, I'm such a rant, ranting person. I will just pause this and I will open when I'm closer to something cool later. So I just got a great idea. I'm gonna open a channel where I'm like filming myself in my room in a mental hospital where I'm filming everything that goes on every time the door opens, every time there. Then I edit the part out when something happens so you don't waste your time looking at nothing. But uh, how I react and interact and I spend my day every day in a mental institution in Den Denmark for the criminal insane. And the criminal means that they have to have committed some kind of crime. And in, in uh, psychiatry is for mental health. And I want to promote mental health and I want to show you how a former mental ill person lives in a mental institution. But is kind of wacky and crazy in her personality as I am. So... Uh, so anyway, that's the police. Yeah, that was the police. They just looked at me. I don't know why. Maybe because I have a cup of coffee or something. I don't know. Anyway, so the police yesterday and the police today. I think actually this is my girlfriend. She went to the dentist. And when you're inside an asylum and you don't have permission to go out every day like I do at the moment, you, uh, well, yeah, you lose, lose that privilege and then the police has to drive you when you have to go to the dentist, things like this. And now it's a horse, so you have to see this. Look, there's a girl on a horse. Look, a beautiful horse. Oh my God. It's kind of cool living here. I'm shaking, I don't know why. So that's the horse, look at it. Hi. I feel my love you, but okay. So, wow, that is beautiful. That is amazing, huh? So I just said to her, I feel my hope is okay. And she says, yeah, yeah, it's fine. And there's a taxi now and there's so many people. There's normally no people out here, so it's kind of cool. And now I see a person over there at that house over there. And uh, I'm going to go to that person and film and start a conversation. Of course, be polite and ask if I can film and drink my coffee and sit next to this girl, a boy. So my phone just made a sound. Wow, I'm surrounded by police, taxi drivers, horses, uh, and uh, wow, my phone is going bad. And uh, people are sitting randomly in mental institutions, private area, and chilling. Maybe it's a person from here. I don't know. We will find out. There's a beautiful tree right there. It is cool. Spring is coming. The grass is green and the sun is out and. It's like pre-spring, but very soon spring will be really out. So we are getting closer to this person over there in the house from yesterday. So let's see if this person is willing to talk to us. And I'm dripping coffee all over my hand because I'm a fucking mongoloid. Oh, it's my friend Christian. Hi, it's my friend Christian. That's Christian. So now you're going to meet my friend who I like very much and like me very much. And I think he's sitting and just enjoying nature. Hi guys, John. That's my friend, that's Christian. I filmer. Hello, but okay, filmer. 
Oh my God. So I can film him and it's okay. So I will ask him some questions about me. Are you okay as far as possible? Okay, his phone is ringing, so I wait till after. Oh, I'm like. Okay, he's waiting, so I'm gonna ask him some questions and he's gonna answer me. And this is my friend. He lives in the same place I do. Say hi. Hi. Hello. Hello, it's English. Oh, who is this? Yeah, I'm filming. I'm filming. You're filming? It's filming okay. for YouTube. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna ask Christian some questions. What he about me? Because I want to know, right? So, what was your first impression of me? My first impression? Yes. Was that you? English. That you were uh, a very good artist somehow, and your. That's your first impression. Your makeup and your. Yeah, but I mean, your first impression of me. You met me way first before you knew these things about me. It was sure love. It was simply uh, delicious. I'm delicious. As, as a peach. I'm a delicious so as, a as a peach. peach. As sweet as a peach. peach, as a peach. What is your relationship to me now? Good friends. How good friends? Very good friends. We're very good friends. I, I live with this dude, so I see him every day. And he's my friend, man. I consider him a very good friend. We've both been running away from this place and we met in Christiania. If you don't know what Christiania is, it's a place in Copenhagen where like it's a, it's a city inside a city and you can read about it online. It's really interesting. It's a huge area with the most beautiful nature in Denmark actually, in Copenhagen anyway. <laughs> and it's like the beautiful. beautiful and there's so many behavior. houses and they're so cool. The most we met there. Beautiful human behavior. Ever, ever. Everybody is planet, chill, you know, they smoke planet, their weed, they have, you know, f they enjoy themselves. Yeah. It's cool, right? And all the houses are like, your imagination sets the border, the limit, and all these creative people live there. So it's like, it's my home. I love Christina, it's my home in my home. I, I came there from, I was 15 and had a long history there. So did he, right? Uh, me? I've been yeah. there since I was four years old. Yeah, he's, he's been there since he was four and he's 49, 47? 49. 49, so he's so turning 50. 45 years ago. Yeah, that's my hippie uh, friend Christian, he's very chill. Um, so I want to ask him some more questions. I'm really curious because I know what, what he's thinking and I want to see what he answers. So it's, I'm, I'm, I'm going to put him a little bit on the pole, uh, what it's called, the stick. Um, so, Christian, yeah. have you ever been in love with Anita? Yes. Yeah, he has, yeah. it's so cute. Yeah. But now he has a girlfriend, a uh, kind of a girlfriend. Yeah, it's just more like sitting in uh, different couches. They, 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 they're, they're, they're yeah. like, they just like, sitting when you had a boyfriend when you was 10 and you were just sitting in the room being like happy for one another's company. Yeah. So that's the yeah, way yeah, to describe yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. so that's like cool. Old people, old people who sit and eat that, yeah. All right, yeah, yeah. TV. Hey, did you see the horse before? Yes, I did. Yeah? Beautiful. It was beautiful, yes man. Yeah. I love that idea. And the police was just here before. I, 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 horses. They just first the police, then came the horse, then came a taxi. When I was a child I was afraid of, of uh, Me horses. too, because they're so big. So so big. Yeah, but, but I used walking. to take care of a horse and my sister have a horse. Both my sisters they ride like a lot. And I've never, and I've always been like kind of intimidated, uh, but I used to ride them and I love to fucking, when they go really fast, really fast. I have some stories about this. If you want me to tell them, I will make a video for that because now I'm with Christian. Hi. That's some of my people over there. Um, yeah. Hi. So I'm one of the working here and one, one person I don't know who is. So Christian, yeah. how long have you known Anita then? Difficult to say, but one and a half year, maybe. Half year? No, oh, I knew you when you were up there. I just one, didn't know you. One, I, we saw each one other. One and a half year. Maybe. Yeah, but we've seen maybe each other for how many years? Street, flirting in the street, as you said. He thinks I've been flirting with him. I think that's so adorable. In the street. Right. Walking in the street. Dancing in the street. Yeah. So, anyway, I, I, I've just been over there and I drank some coffee. And yeah. that's very nice. Mm. What time is it? Okay. So, yeah, uh, two. Two o'clock. I have to be home in 30 minutes and my house is just behind this little corner of the house over there. Yeah. Yeah, I think I know that. He's a bit speaking English. Okay, I But don't talk about that shit. Okay, okay, okay. This guy, he loves his weed. Okay, I love my weed too. 
but he's allowed to smoke and I'm not. So he's just sitting here and chilling and smoking yay and just chilling. So can I tell about your story? Can I yeah. tell about so this guy had cancer in his testicle a long time ago. And then he smoked a joint and smoked some weed and apparently he cured himself and he's convinced that it's because of the weed. And I kind of agree with him that could have a very good chance of being correct because weed is good for medications in so many ways. But it's not good for everybody. It's not good for people who are psychotic. For example, I know that from personal experience because then you get very paranoid most of the time, you know. So it's not worth taking the risk because if it's like 50-50 chance if you become really bad, it's not fucking worth it. But if you don't get bad from it, I, I can smoke now and don't get bad from it. I don't get any compulsive thinking or anything stressful. But I, I'm not allowed to. He's allowed to. And that's fucking unfair because if we have to follow the law and in real life, it's like legal but next year it will be legal as medical marijuana which is cool which i'm voting voting for and i hope you all do because think about how much money we can save and how much good we can do for the world that's a police car too man that's a police car too uh, they will come as a police everywhere. they are over everywhere they're just coming and coming and coming and yesterday I saw the police. I don't know what's going on at the moment. I never see the police. And now they're just everywhere. Three times today. Yeah, three times today. And I saw them <laughs> yesterday too, you know. Yeah. yeah, I was in my friend's house yesterday and the police came and they wanted to make a drug raid. raid, raid. Mm -hmm. But he didn't have anything. He was like, what? And they didn't knock the door. They just came in. It was so weird. They asked me to leave. I made a video about it. So I'm just recapping here. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have coffee. No, I don't have coffee. This day didn't head over. I, I kind of went and stole this cup in this place over there, but I can bring it tomorrow, so it's not st it's boring. I borrowed a cup. There's a lot of people running out here, and there's two of them. This is a huge area, as I told you many times. Nature, nature, it's like a, uh, what's it called, reserve? Yeah. It's like a reserve, there's wildlife here, there's like these bambies, and and there's a lot of rabbits, and, and, and what are they called, all these animals? There's a lot of birds, big birds, like the swan, yeah. and there's a lot of, uh, like, people go here with the dog and go for long walks, and they run, and they mountain bike at the lake. I'm going to show you the lake, the fjord, one day. It's huge, you know? It's beautiful. So we're going fishing. Are you, go are you going fishing? No. Uh, the 29th of March, I'm going fishing on a boat. So, yeah, that's that. That's, that's going to be cool. My friend is fishing, the one I went to yesterday and today, but I didn't film. Uh, but I talked about him, his face was raided. Um, he, he enjoys fishing and he told me that I can borrow some stuff from him if I need to, but I, I, I think it's already planned so. But it's gonna be funny to fish. I, I don't know, I don't feel like killing the fish. I just feel like it's a funny activity and you know, makes time go a little faster. And we don't get a lot of trips outside this hospital. I'm serious, you know? So Christian, yeah. tell me about something interesting of your life. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I found this guy online, okay, on YouTube. His name is uh, Wewe, Davy Wewe. He's mm. gay and he has a channel. I don't remember the name of his channel right now. I will link it in the description. Uh, he's gay and he makes these really, really entertaining videos okay. about how to be gay and how to enjoy sex and how you can, like, evolve yourself. And, and he's so cute. He's adorable. And he meets a lot of uh, very hot guys. If you're interested in watching hot gay guys, check his channel out, because that's definitely the place. All the guys well, are so cute, man. Well, I'm not gay. No, but it doesn't matter. It's, it's amusing and it's entertaining I and it's part of the world. I can tell you straight from, from my heart that I've been uh, kind of uh, experimenting with bisexuality in, yeah. in some ways. But, I know, right? Um, we did. I think most people did. Of course did, I know? have. It's normal. To yeah, do. of course it is. You have to uh, try things out to figure out what is, try, is you like. You, don't you know, try, you don't know what you're missing. It, true, you have to like try everything to know what you're like missing. Yeah, missing yeah, or what you yeah. what you. Life is about living. You know, it's about sharing, and we have to experiment to if and you also like it, try it. Man. Is that what I mean? <laughs> we're very open, and Denmark is in general very open. I think we were the first country in the world to legalize porn, 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 porn. Don't make your kids watch this. Okay, maybe a police car or is it a taxi or one police car? Oh, it's a taxi. 
I get a little paranoid with all these police. I don't know if it's only in Denmark. I know it's also LA and South America and stuff like that. That was a stupid thing to say. I don't know if it's only. But uh, in Denmark, the police are scary, I think. And, and they don't not really dangerous, but they can be. But they like, in other countries like uh, America and lots of the states, I've seen really, really violent and aggressive police force. And it's like very scary, I think. I was once beaten by the police. I was in, we have this huge park and every 1st of May we have a big uh, national holiday and a lot of people meet in this huge park in the center of Copenhagen and party their ass off. You know, there's Tivoli, there's all these uh, street uh, sellers and there's music and there's speeches because it's the liberal day of the working class. So it's like um, there's a lot of speeches and things, and people get very drunk and very drugged up and whatever. Anyway, long time ago, I was like, ah, there's an animal, there's an animal, look at this animal. It fell down from the roof, can you see it? Hey, there we have it. Woo, woo, look, look, look. It's so cute, I won't tease it anymore. Anyway, I was an acid, it's a lot, many years ago, I was an LSD and, and I was just standing and looking in my purse and, and I was bent down and I was tripping so hard I couldn't find what I was looking for or whatever. I was tripping over my bag. So anyway, when I lifted up, everybody was gone and there was a chain of police people in front of me. And uh, one girl, police woman come with her lifted hand with a baton in her hand and she came and she started beating me. And I was like, no, don't do me, I don't do nothing, I go, I go. And she was like, started to beat me. And then I get up and then she beat me down again and I didn't do nothing. And my boyfriend was on the other side of the police wall and the one put a machine gun to his head and like, if you go there, he was really forcing his power and abusing it. And there was no reason to this. Everybody was behaving and there was like cool, you know, atmosphere. And then I got up and my friend come from the back and one Michel and he he uh, saved me. He took me and we ran and I was beaten up. I, I, I reported it to the police and there was an investigation. But police against police, screw it. They always fucking, yeah, they, uh, always fucking they got each other's back and they're assholes. You know, they, yeah. they, they don't, you know, they got each other's that's back. general that's the world, that's the police. That's the way to say it. Yeah, it's I know, corruption right? corruption somehow because it's not the law. Understand what I'm saying? Yeah. It's not the law. I know. That they throw it they, they, they go, they, they, if they, but actually. of course they do. You would protect your own people too, you know. No, fucking no way. Would, 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 like would you not, if, 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 uh, nurses and uh, doctors and social assistants yeah, and doctors, social assistants. they cover each other's back too. Yeah, it's true. It's true. They, uh, in, they We live in this mental institution and I told you for the criminals saying, so obviously we're criminals. We don't look like criminals. Uh, we're very chill people. We, 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 we fucked up and we're mentally ill so we're placed in this institution and the, the staff here, oh my God, it's like, it's like they're like... Uh, they're like power abusing and they're like oh. their way and if it's not a rule, it's not a law, it's a law if they say so. God damn it, it's a law. I mean, it's worse than having... When you grow up and you have your mom and dad to tell you what to do and what to do, it's your mom and dad for Christ's sake. But they're not parents and they like they go over the line. Yeah, totally. Yeah, it's so fucked up. Can I... You have no moral and ethics or anything. I know, right? No, 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 okay. But okay, people are different. So some of them are nice and some of them are worse. But everybody has a personality. You cannot go along with everybody. But everybody is like insanely happy to like lick each other's ass. If so, they would rather protect one of their uh, co-workers than say what is actually going on in a in a aroused situation. They just block off and then they just they they they, they don't give us a fair chance. Yeah, right. When we get angry or sad or disturbed, they, they, they make a problem out of it. They make a problem out of it. Yeah. Right? So it's not easy. It's you like see, it's like it, being it, taught in a dictatorship. If, if I get angry with, with the staff over there, then I get one week inside. Mm -hmm. But I can't go here for some. But one week is nothing. He's complaining yeah. over one week. We ought to get two months. And you are so healthy, man. Just He's so shouting. fortunate. He's so lucky. He gets so much permission compared to us others. If I get angry, then they, they will give me one week. What? One week. Yeah, if they get angry. But, but if I leave now. Yeah, yeah. Senior, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, months. okay. Okay, it's the same with me. If I get angry, they maybe say don't go out for a week. Yeah. And or they take my privilege and say I have to uh, stay in my room and uh, cannot go and smoke and make uh, coffee and shit like this. Uh, it's like being a kid, you know, you get grounded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? And they, they're like, one, I'm 40, okay? And there's one girl, 25 year old, and she's standing in my face and saying like, you, uh, you can't do this, you can't do that, you have to stay in your room. It's like, it's pathetic. And I'm like, what are you gonna do? And I go smoke and I go fucking uh, drink. I don't stay in my room even though they tell me to stay in my room. 
And I don't, I really don't. And he knows me, I don't. I'm like, I have a pretty good temper. <laughs> but I'm nice, right? They I like mean, you for having that temper. That's they like me for right. having it. Cool, man. Yeah, Thanks. Really Thanks. Right. It's true, though. It's, I can me relate. Too. I used to have a bad temper, but now I'm... Better. He's like, a, he's like a soft teddy bear. He's like an old big bear. Look at him. He's like an old big bear. And he's, uh, he's wise, but he's, he's good at chess, man. I tell you, he beat me every time. It's, he didn't play that many times, but he beat me. But I'm not that bad, am I? Am I? Am I? Am I? Am I bad? No, I'm not bad. Am I bad? Am I, but I'm not that good. I'm not seen a good worse. I've seen You've seen worse. worse. Yeah. I'll take it. I'll take, take it. it. But I'm I am actually bad. not that bad in chess. Yeah. Most people don't know how to you play know chess. Who I am in chess? You know nope. who I am in Denmark? He's somebody in Denmark in chess. Let's hear it. Unofficial master. Unofficial master! We have the master here. He's an unofficial master, but he's a master. Mm. Look at him, the master. <laughs> he's like, he looks like, if you've seen the lion, uh, not the Lion King, but the, what is it called, the, the cartoon from... Aslan. Aslan, what is it called? The Norwegian Aslan. What is it called? The Syria. What is it called, man? Ah! Oh. No? Nangiala. What is it called? Serien. It's something like that. Det er ikke nogen gejala, det er 20 seconds. Det er ikke nogen gejala, fordi det er i brødrene løvehjerte. Ja, det hedder... We just discussing what is... Narnia! Narnia! It's made in English series about it. And everybody knows Narnia. It's like the best fairy tale ever. I think it's one of my childhood cartoons I grew up with, along with the monkey, the monkey. Yeah, Peter for the day. No, 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 not this Danish monkey. This American... Chinese monkey? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was one animated, no, one cartoon, but really good with a monkey. What is it called? I really don't know. It's a Chinese movie. Yeah, it's one kind of Japanese, kind of Chinese... Monkey. It's about this monkey that is, like, evolving. Yeah. And it's like superhero in, but in like a Japanese themed kind of video, like samurai. It's like like yeah, ninja. It's like what what do they call it on this? I love these kind of movies. I watch so many uh, kung fu movies. Kung fu, I I fucking love it. Yeah, I know, I know, right? Who doesn't? It's an art form, and it's a lifestyle, and it's uh, belief is a super, it's a you know it's a it's a full commitment. Mm -hmm. You know, like being gay, find out you're gay, a transvestite. If you find out you're transvestite, if you're a trans, transvestite, yeah, then you, uh, you know, that's, it's a commitment, you know, because if you, change, if you change your body and you remove your tits or your wiener or penis, uh, you, will, you, will, uh, you won't get it back, you know, I mean. So that's conviction, and that's really, I believe, those people uh, are just like me and you. They're just, you know, people. What? I'm not any kind of surgery. No, what? Uh, uh, remove no, surgery. no, are you not for that? Let's discuss no. this. Interesting. You don't think that people should be allowed to have removed the breast? I think they should be allowed. Okay, I thought he was like uh, saying that was not being, a, okay. I think it should be allowed, but I think uh, I would say that people should have some time to consider that. Yeah, hello. I, now I think you're really, really naive and really, really, what is it called? Uh, wait a second, let me just finish this. Because now he's being very, um, what is it called? There's one word, it's not naive, but it's also naive. That is bullshit because people have been inside their bodies all their life. They figure out in the childhood that they have an opposite sex, normally around the age of five or three, and maybe later. Mm -hmm. And yeah, but they know inside that they are like born as a man or born as a woman. I know several uh, transvestite people, and I follow a lot well, online. I can tell you a funny fact. It's, yeah. Uh, it's a fact that uh, inside your mom, mama, you uh, yourself uh, is starting out as a woman. Yeah, all, I know all, uh, this. Uh, I, it's coming. Uh, yeah. Starting out as a woman. Yeah, yeah, and then it gets then X it gets chromosomes and Y chromosomes, and then and you all we all uh, uh, also plus that inside your mother we're all born as twins. We are sixty percent born uh, have twins, but then the most of one of the fetus eats uh, the sucks all the energy, all the food mm. reserves, so one fades away. I was having twins with my girl. But it's true also. But anyway, that has nothing to do with what I'm talking about. I have to finish this because these people who are, ha, have this I, born in a wrong body, they have the right to do what they want with their body oh, to feel good. And that's everybody right. does. Of course they have the right. There's their own body. Something that freaks Just me out. Just like abortion. Wait. 
Uh, I okay. say that it should it be up to heavy, the man. to the women to decide. Of well, course, uh, but I, I am a, no, man, no, I'm not a agreeing. Man shouldn't have any say in it. N- I I think of, of that's I'm disagreeing uh, because a man has also a right to be over. But the woman, but, but I, but let me finish uh, this. Wait, wait. I am against abortion unless it's like an emergency, uh, uh, and I'm meaning emergency okay. like if you're being raped or your daddy rape you. Or something nasty like that shit. Okay. Uh, and, but I think you, yeah. if you're old enough to make create the life, you should. And I maybe I'm, a lot of people are for abortion. I'm not like going to fight it because people should decide but for themselves. But if I, I, I just don't want it. I did it, but I, uh, I feel I would regret. Say it's kind of a shame to use it as preservative. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it shouldn't. It shouldn't just be because I know girls who have been like abortion like uh, ten times. Uh, I know people who's been uh, who's youngies nakomana. Drug addicts, uh, in you know, they uh, they use it as protection, and then they have so many accidents because they go in the street and sell the, the bodies, and you know that's sad, you know. But it's like I did it myself, if I have to be honest, because I've been fucked up. I told you about my life. I tried it, and I didn't do it a lot, but I did it enough, and uh, it's an experience, and I got lucky. Kind of, I didn't always because one time I was raped. As you know, if you watch my videos, you will know this about me. But it's like I don't, I don't get down from it. I just lift myself up and fight it. You know. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm rambling. People should just be allowed to do what they will with the body, but nobody should be allowed to use abortion as as, as a condom. Exactly. Look that hill over there. That looks amazing with the trees. Yeah, it's, a, well, it's the beautiful. Other Vikings are coming. Yeah, this city we live in is the, one of the big Viking areas in Denmark. We have a Viking museum. We have Viking ships. I went shipping. We have to go this summer also to sail with the Viking boats. It's really cool. Anyway, I'm gonna pause this. Ah. Oh. So. No, no. No. Hey, I'm still filming. Ah. I didn't know you saw me without being real. I'm real all the time, bitch. <laughs> ah, man. So we're still on live on camera. And what time is it? I have to be home soon. It's I have qual 15 minutes. 50, I have to be home 35. I have five 2 30, right? 2 15. 2 15, yes, yes, yes. But I have to be home 2 30, yes. Okay, okay do you have a cigarette, Christian? So. Really? Oh, look how sweet he is. He gave me a packet of cigarettes. Yeah, I don't promote smoking, but I'm still filming and I'm going to continue because I never talk to anybody on camera and it's nice to do this for once without editing. <coughs> I'm so weird, right? Listen. Anyway, talk, 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 thank you. Talk, talk. So, Christian, where did you grow up? Copenhagen. He grew up in Copenhagen. I wish I grew up in Copenhagen, but I've been living in Copenhagen since I was living since I was 19, but being there every day since I was 15. Really? Mm-hmm. Really? I mean, that's when I started going to Christiania. Okay. I lived there. I was always in the Moonfisher, in the old Moonfisher. Ah. Moonfisher is a place in Christiania. It's a bar, a really cool bar. It used to be very fucked up, and now it's really nice. They so unique, you know. I don't know how to explain. Well, yeah. Why? Well, Moon, what? Lisa Matheva Moon. Yeah. No, yeah, it's like going to the moon, we, you know, it's the moon fissure. It's like true, they decorated a little bit the walls with the... With the, and the floor. You and the floor, there, yeah. You walk in there, it's like the moon. But when I came, when I started coming there, it was like the wooden and the concerts and the... Up, yeah. you, you were sitting up, you know, and then there was... You know, before the full pool tables yeah, and all this. Before the pool tables, yeah, yeah. dancing. Yeah, the exactly. I've been to concerts there. I, I was, the oh place. man, outside, I have to tell you this, nobody, nothing violent ever goes on in Christiania. Really rare because people are like really hippies and really chill and it's a cool place. There's also the the, 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 the pushers and shit. Because there is a, <clears throat> something called Pusher Street, uh, in its name Pusher Street. We say Pusher Street, we don't have a Danish word for it, it's Pusher Street. Uh, and Christiania is Stelten in Danish, uh, you know? and then you're home and it's like oh whatever I can tell so many things about it but anyway I was telling you something. oh Pusha Street what was I saying about that Pusha Street uh, Pusha Street Pusha Street the, the different people the different debate yeah. we have to we have to turn well they're not violent either what they're not violent either well 
They're not violent in, violent in Christianity. No, there's no violent in But this New Year's Eve, my first New Year's Eve in, in Christiania, outside the moon fish, uh, behind it, there was some really back alley toilets with blue light, and you just go in there, there's no door, and it's just an open toilet. And, and then it was really nasty, but really 